The Roborock S7 vacuum cleaner was a great hit last year. The sonic mopping was out of this world and everybody loves it. Now they took one more step further with this newest model, the S7 Pro Archer. Whatever I did on this new model is self-washing, self-refilling, self-embedding and much more. So you can basically do nothing and your house is always spick and span. In this video, I did some hardcore cleaning tests on the S7 Pro Archer that would be impossible for other vacuum cleaners. But did the S7 Pro Archer survive? Let's get on to it. For the unboxing assembly, I've already done a video about it. You can check it out from here if you are interested. Basically, no installation required. It's ready to go out of the box. Regarding the design of the S7 Pro Archer, I would say it has the same design layout as its predecessor. We have several sensors, an omnidirectional wheel, anti-tangle rubber side brush and a main brush, two main wheels and a mop under the bottom. We have a protruding light sensor on the top that keeps scan every corner of your house. There's a sparkling key, that's also the child lock key, a power key and a dog key below. Over the cover, we have the slot for the dust bin. I noticed there's more wheel beside it. Guess it's for easier sliding to the dog base. Speaking of that, I guess that's the biggest difference from a 7 or many other normal vacuum cleaners. It's basically a do-everything dock. We have a rather large dirty water tank and a clean water tank on the top. There's also a slot for the 2.5 liter disposable bag which the official info claims that it stores up to 7 weeks of dust. Moving down is the slot for charging, especially, did you see that brush? That's for that magical mop self-washing. We'll test that in a second. The design of the S7 Pro Ultra Vacuum Cleaner at stock base looks sleek and futuristic. It is definitely well made and polished. Enough about this, let's check out its cleaning performance. I really don't want to talk about how to connect the app and what's inside the app too much as I've covered them. In my previous Roborock S7 video, the app is one of the best, if not the best, for a vacuum cleaner. It's rich feature and easy to navigate. Like I said before, the cleaning tests I've done with S7 Pro Archer were hardcore. How hardcore? For the mopping tests, unlike the simple ones you've seen where they just spit some liquid stains on the floor and then mop, I literally put a certain amount of ice cream on the floor for almost 4 hours until it became totally dry and stuck to the floor. When I touched the spillage, I thought even if I cleaned it by hand, I would have to scrub it using some sort of force. I just let the machine clean it anyway. This was what the stains were left after the first pass. Seems not that good. But like I said before, even if you use a mop manually to mop them, it would be difficult to deal with let alone a portable machine. Then I let the machine do another two runs and finally it clean all. I'm just shocked by how it performs. Believe me, this situation was just impossible for other vacuum cleaners. After that, I chose the self-washing feature and went back to wash the mop. Starting to wash the mop. We can view this on the app when it's doing so. And this was how the mop looked after self-cleaning. It's just good. No obvious stains left. I'm just super happy with the results because this mop self-cleaning feature has gotten rid of stains that might cause offensive odors. Another huge upgrade for the SM Pro Archer with the suction power has been upgraded from the previous 2500 pa on the S7 all the way up to 5100 pa. And the cleaning ability on hard floors like this low pack carpet was good. Crazy good. I thought it would have difficulty picking up big debris but it finally did. I also tested paper scraps, which is a challenge for every vacuum cleaner, including the sticky vacuum cleaners. It did a fairly good job. Just in case you want to know if it's user-friendly to pet owners, I tested a pile of hair. It also gives a good result, as you can see from the video. In case you want to know if the noise level is bearable or not, it's around 65 decibels. That's normal conversation level, but I guess it would be lower than this as I was testing the noisy working office. However, I have to warn you the self ambient noise is loud. It's around 73 decibels. That's beat the traffic noise and feels unbearable. I suggest you go away as fast as possible. Interestingly though, every self ambient vacuum cleaner I tested had this level of noise. To conclude, the Roborock S7 Pro Archer is the best thorough vacuum cleaner I've ever reviewed, period. Whether you're a newbie looking for the best vacuum cleaner to start with or a long-time user wishing to replace your old crappy cleaner, in my opinion, this most technologically advanced, powerful and smart S7 Pro Archer Roborock vacuum cleaner will be 
perfect for you. By the way, currently if you reserve this vacuum cleaner on Kibai, the link for which you can find in the description, you will get three free disposal bags when it's officially available on July 4th. So don't miss the chance. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one.